At the Scripps Institution of Oceanography on the UC San Diego campus, biochemist Jennifer Doudna has just arrived. Well, it's great to be here and to have an opportunity to share the world of CRISPR and genome editing uh, down here in San Diego. Doudna co-discovered CRISPR-Cas9, a gene editing tool with her colleague Emmanuel Charpentier in 2012. In a nutshell, CRISPR is a protein that can go into a cell or tissue in any biological organism. So plants, animals, humans, and like scissors, cut open a string of DNA. And when that happens, DNA coding can be altered. So genes or biological traits can be changed. You are the co-founder of CRISPR gene editing technology. Can you tell me about it and what type of potential does it have? What I'm excited about is the opportunity to cure genetic diseases, things like sickle cell anemia or Huntington's disease, potentially in the future something like cystic fibrosis. These are all diseases that have well-known single genetic causes, single genes that affect the patient. And what CRISPR technology does is to provide a strategy for correcting or at least mitigating those disease-causing mutations. And that's not a, not a fantasy. It's not you know, 200 years in the future. It's something that I think over the next decade we will see those kinds of cures coming to fruition. This past July, doctors for the first time in the United States officially used CRISPR to treat a patient with sickle cell anemia, a disease that creates deformed blood cells and can cause a shortened lifespan as well as some painful conditions. Doctors used CRISPR to give the patient her own modified and much healthier blood cells. But while examples like these show promise, some ethicists have raised questions, especially since CRISPR is widely deployed around the world. Gene editing uh, can obviously be used for a number of different uh, issues. So what do you have to say about some of the potential negative side effects of this? You know, I think anytime there's a powerful technology that comes along, it, it, it often comes with both the opportunities to you know, create great value and benefit to society, but also risks, and I think that's true for CRISPR as well. For example, being able to change the DNA in developing humans in the germline that would create changes to DNA that affect not only an individual, but also can be inherited by future generations. So that's something that I've been working on for several years with my colleagues to educate people about that possibility and to really uh, welcome a, a global discussion about how to appropriately regulate this technology. A simple Google search of gene editing brings up stories on the potential, like genetically modified crops that can resist climate change. But these stories exist alongside headlines on designer babies and super soldiers for the military. A new Netflix series titled Unnatural Selection considers these scenarios. It also makes it seem like CRISPR technology is fairly easy to access. Doudna says while gene editing is widely available, it still requires biochemical expertise to use. I think it's important to separate fact from fiction. Of course, storytellers love to, um, you know, scare us and, and, and bring up ideas that are sort of fantastical, and, and I think that's, that's true for this Netflix series. But I think that it's important for people to understand that, you know, those of us that are actually working in the field appreciate that this technology has tremendous positive potential. Doudna says there's a lot of next steps with this technology. But for now, she's working on organizing a genetic research nonprofit in the San Francisco Bay Area. The goal, she says, is to take practical biomedical ideas off the ground and make sure gene editing is equitable. I don't personally want to create a, a cure for genetic disease that's only affordable by the 0.001%. Doudna says funding for science for the sake of curiosity is a huge part of making sure the research can happen. Why should the public support curiosity-driven scientific research? And the reason is that that's how science is, is that we don't know where it's going in the future. And this is the purpose of curiosity-driven science, is to understand our world. And every now and then, you, you, know, you turn over a proverbial rock and you find something that you couldn't have imagined was there. And that's true for CRISPR. Doudna is the recipient of this year's Nirenberg Prize for Science in the Public Interest from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Shalina Chatlani, KPBS News.